the one, the only, Ben Sion. Good morning, welcome to Yeshiva YouTube. Ian Ben Sion, we're back here in Telstone, Israel. I just landed about four hours or five hours ago. I'm exhausted, I'm tired. It wasn't fun to be on an airplane 10 hours with my kids. But we did it. I'm here. It's nice to be back. Today's daf from Zara Sota Daf Chav Ches, number 28. <clears throat> I want to focus on the end of the daf. The, the, the end of the daf, really the bottom of Chav Chedem and Aleph to the top of Chav Chedem and Bez, talks about a famous Allah, a Safek Tumo. If you're Safek, if you're Tame, if it's Shriach, it's a secluded place. We go the Chumrah, you're Tame. If it's Shriach, if it's a public place, you go Lakula. And where do we know that from? We know from Sota. Because Sota is a secluded place. So therefore, we learn to share it. Share it also usually is more severe. You could even, if you touch it, someone throws a share it on you, but onus against your will, you become Tame. Certainly, a Sota, which if it happens, but onus is not also. It's only if he loaned it, but she wasn't forced. So certainly, a Sharet, Sveiko, Tame, only Shishi You can't learn more than what we're learning from, we're learning from the Sota. So it has to be only Shishi Yachin, only to the place, then Sveiko is Tame. And it also has to be Dasli Shah, like a woman could ask whether she's Tare Tame. The person who touches the Sharet has to be old enough to ask whether they touch the Sharet or not. Now, the whole thing doesn't really seem to make any sense, right? First of all, the whole concept of Tuma, right? This is Isser Behetar over here. We're talking about the woman. She committed adultery. She's usher to her husband. That's what we're really talking about. Usher to her husband. What does Tuma have to do with this? What does Tuma have to do with this? And we're learning the other Tuma. This is Isser Behetar. Right? And secondly, the second question is is that the whole concept that we a secluded woman, we assume she's Tame, to the fact that she has to drink the Mesota. Until she drinks the Mesota to prove her innocence, she's usher to the husband, usher to the Boa. But that's only because you have the king of Isira. He warned her. And then he secluded after the warning. So that's Raglayim Ladavra. That's why she has Surah. But a regular case of a woman secludes herself with a man without a warning, we don't assume she's a Sota in that case. There's no suffix Isra in that case. And that's really what the Gemara is learning over here. A Sharetz, there's no warning, right? Don't be metamid to the Sharetz. Then you go and you touch the Sharetz in a private domain. That's obviously not what we're talking about. So... You have to say, like we've been saying in the past called Dapam, I've been explaining this idea that there's two ideas going on by a Sota. There's one, the rebellion against the husband, the cheating on the husband, and there's one, the rebellion against Hashem. One of the Arayas is the Aisha Sish. So when it talks about the Arayas, it talks about Tuma. It calls it, in Mason Bam, if you engage in Arayas, in Achraimos, this week's Parsha, uh, and then the Parsha talks about Mini Mason Bam. You become Tame by Arayas, and Aisha Sish is one of the Arayas. So the idea of Stira, Seclusion really is Tuma, right? A Tuma. The idea of Isser had there, that's just to the Baal, that's really based on his Kino. She's rebelling against her husband. And don't do it. And she secludes herself. So that aspect is a Kino, right? Which is Dabrash of Erebon. That's the corner of Yeshua. It has to be done with two Adem. So the Isser is separated from the Tuma. The Isser to the husband is because she cheated on the husband. And the Tuma is because of Arayos, Aisha Sitch. So, really, that's what the Gemara is learning over here. The Gemara is not learning from the Isser part. It's learning from the Tumah part. So, that has two elements. It has of Isser Behetar, which is relevant to the husband, which is relevant to the Kino, the warning. And then the Isser of Tuma. And that's why the Gemara is able to learn from Tesheret, which is Tuma and Tara, because there's an element of Tuma over here apart from the element of Isser Behetar. Fine, that answers one question. It's also an answer to the question of is it really called. Tuma over here, and what is what is what is a shah? You can't really compare sheretz to a woman being defiled, you know, cheating on her husband. What's the comparison exactly? How are we learning all hilchos tuma and tara from this? So I think the answer really lies in I mentioned the reason Savik is there. You go lechumra, at least it was in skazik isura. Savik is there because there's a good chance, a possibility you did an isra over here. Tuma, the concept of tuma. Is you know is a spiritual concept. It's not a physical concept. It's a spiritual concept, meaning it's a concept. It's a concept of tumah. There's nothing actually changes about the person when he's tummy or tahor. Nothing changes about the person when you touch a sharet. Do you become an actually different person? No. 
Halakhically, you become different. We view as a different person because of that experience that you came in contact with the tuma. It's not like when you eat the Yisra it becomes part of your body. When you eat a piece of chalev, it becomes part of your body. That's at your goof actually sin. But it's a sin in Rukhni as tuma and Tara. That's really all tuma and Tara really is. So the reason that basically you go suffix tuma, you go lakula. The only one case the Gemara learns, that's basically what we're learning from this Gemara. If it's suffix touch to Sharif, if it's Sharabim, or even it's Shusha Yachid, but in Bodasti Shal, you go lakula. Why do you go lakula? Because the concept of suffix tuma has a chazaka. There's a chazaka, there's an assumption that you're not tummy. Until you prove to me that you're tummy, I assume you're not tummy. The suffix always relies on the chazaka. Is there a head there? If it is Chazaki Surah, the Isra is already present, so that loses the Chazaka. The Chazaka is, there's an assumption he probably ate it. Right? But Tuma and Tara is always relies on the Cheska's Tara until you prove that the guy's Tomei, because it's a spiritual concept. There's no physical aspect over here. Even the Sherex is physically present, but the concept of Tuma and Tara is based on a status quo. It's a status. It's a Cheska's Tara. And he has a Cheska's Tara until you prove otherwise. We just learned from Sota this one unique aspect. Because as the word venitma it calls it tuma, you learn to share it also that if in one case where Yesh Budasli Shal, the person could be asked if he's Tor or Tame, and it's the Shriyak and it's a secluded place, then we would go Savik Tuma Lachumra Midal Raisa. Maybe Midal Raisa, Midal Rabban. It seems to say Midal Raisa. We'll talk more going forward. It's the Raisa, the Rabbanan. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you on the next one.